All right, guys. So we just just uh, took this G70 out, and it is beautiful. Let me see. It definitely has like a nice look to it. But let me know what you think. Like, is it worth trading in the Tacoma for it? Like, if this came with the manual gearbox, it would be ideal. But I mean, I guess the good thing about it is I can let my wife drive it. I guess. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're bringing you some more of that Florida freedom here today. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful out, so I just had to come and bring you guys out here to kind of show you some more of that Florida freedom. But yeah, today we're considering taking in our 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD 4x4 Sport and trading it in for i think it's a either a 22 or 23 genesis g70 hold on let's let the loud bikes and cars go by but yeah so we're thinking about trading it in for a genesis g70 and i don't know man like i i love my truck like you see like if i wanted to i could go a little bit more off-road with it but like i feel like i can take it anywhere go anywhere and you know have fun with it make great content but I also want to do something fun for you guys that follow the channel and I was thinking if I got the Genesis G70 it would be interesting because it's a automatic and you know I'm not an automatic kind of guy but it's very fast it's a turbo V6 I believe um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's twin turbo or single turbo but it is turbo it's a turbo V6 it's very fast and I think it should be comparable to the Camaro so then if I got the Genesis G70, then we could do content of the Genesis G70 versus the Camaro and see which one I can make faster with mods and stuff like that. So let's head on out to this journey and see how this goes. So we're coming out of the Tacoma. We're gonna see if it's, this is gonna be the new channel vehicle here. It's a Genesis G70 and uh, with a really cool sales guy here. So let's see how this goes. We got the navigation. We got, it looks nice inside here. Like the, the only thing I see that looks a little bit different is the, the RPMs, it goes the opposite direction, it looks like, versus like most cars. But it does have 180 on the dash, so I guess that's good. Now, to get it to drive, you have to take it out of park first. You have to, oh, park release here, or? Yeah, park release, so right there, you Or good. just press it. Yeah. You just hold the uh, gear shift right there, and then push it down, there you go. And then push it down? Yeah. So, 
right here. There we go. The oh, button okay. on the side. Oh, the button on the side. Yeah. Got you, got you. All right. All right. So, where was? Right. You're so, going to tell us where to go, yeah, right? So, we'll make a right right here. All right. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> That's not a plug, guys. <laughs> All right. And we'll make another right right here. Right. It literally sounds like it. It's like tick tock. Yeah. Tick -tock. <laughs> Traffic is always big over here, isn't it? Yeah, on the North Lake it's really bad. Mm -hmm. right. I think yeah, it is when um they do the cars and coffee, do you guys get affected by it over here? Uh I don't think so. Uh yeah. let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So are we gonna just get on I five and come in? Yeah, we're going on the five. Alright. So in the middle, how do you change the middle display here? Would it be this one? So right there you see the page icon on the right side of the steering wheel. Here? Yeah, the uh -huh. page icon. Right here? Right oh here. this one, yeah, yeah. Right there. So if you oh, okay. click on that and then the uh the knob that you had your thumb on, that one right there. So if you uh go hit the page icon one more time, mm -hmm. one once more. And then you could uh, use that knob and it'll show a couple of different stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you go through the oil temp, torque. Oh, I got the turbo. You can see that on here? Let me see. Yeah, you can see that? Oh, I'll, yeah. All right, so this is what he was talking about. You can change the tension level. Wow, so it monitors you. All right, select contents, oil temp, torque, turbo. No, I'll leave it on turbo and see how that, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see how that works out. But uh, so far, just the seating position and everything feels, it feels good. Like it's like getting in and out, I don't know, it's weird. Like this pillar here is a little bit like, uh, this pillar here is like a little bit in your way getting in and out. But once I'm in, you feel like pretty good. And let's see what it, uh, what it looks like here. <laughs> oh, my bad. I know you're like, what the? <laughs> here you go. We'll make a, we'll get on that right lane right here. All right. Just this. Oh wow, the brakes are actually pretty good. I didn't expect the brakes to bite that hard. Yeah, no, it's got the brakes are really good, uh, especially with the type of power that the car puts out. Right. Now, as you can tell over here, we got drive mode right here. And right. if you pay attention right there, it'll change. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so we're in sport. Can we put it in sport plus? Sport plus will take off the traction. Yeah. So it'll take off the traction control on that. Alright, so let's see what she feels like in a in a spicy setting. I'm going to be comparing this to the Camaro SS1 Elite, and we all know what that feels like. So let's see what this feels like comparatively. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Actually, it, it, it's spicier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of power, especially in the 3.3 V6. Yeah. It's a twin turbo engine. Yeah, it's good get up and go. That was surprising. I didn't expect to, for it to get up that, that quickly. Yeah. Nice and planted too. Oh snap, we got the old school. Florida Freedom right there, guys. <laughs> yeah, see, in some of those states with their smog emissions, that car couldn't even run. Not really. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Man, you can smell can you smell it through the through the car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those old schools be different, man. But no, nah, it drives really, really smooth. Uh, let me see. Let me adjust this mirror here a bit. Wow, and how, how poetic, like, in my uh, left view mirror there, there's a Toyota Tacoma, all right, just gonna pass us. It's almost like it's saying something, there's an old school Tacoma passing us right there. <laughs> Get rid of the old, but against the new. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like the, the, the driving dynamic feel, and definitely, I definitely feel a difference when you put it in the Sport Plus, we put it into the, Yeah, it feels a lot more relaxed when you switch the modes. Like, it makes a huge difference. Uh, the back support is pretty good too. Uh, this is a fun, fun vehicle. Okay, hold on. Am I exiting here? Or? Yeah, we're gonna get off on uh, 79A. Right here. Alright, just wanted to speed up just a smidge. See if we 
still did it all legal. There we go. <laughs> and we're gonna be making a right, right? Yep. How would you rate the sound system in here? Like, I'm not gonna play anything, but just. Oh no, we can if you want with Sirius XM. But I mean, no. uh, sound system is pretty good. Uh, it's got a premium bow system. Okay. Uh, and on no subwoofer though, I've noticed. Yeah, so on the subwoofer part, they they were lacking on that. Um, right. But the, the sound system is pretty good, especially with the HD radio that they've got. And then you can adjust the sound systems over here. So if we go to sound. No, I'm not gonna play anything now. Just yeah, uh, but yeah, we'll keep it on the map. <laughs> yeah, but now I, I was just curious. I wanted to know. So okay, so at least we know it sounds good. Corners, let's see. Corners. Yeah, it gets out. <laughs> yeah, and that's on comfort too. So yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. That's on comfort. Yeah, it still We're gonna out. get on the right lane up here. Uh, okay, so it has a safety sensor. Yeah, it has blind collision warning sensors. Uh, and it'll pull you back if you try to get in there. Right, right, right. Yeah, you can feel it. That's actually pretty good. Well, I can say, for an automatic, I'm impressed. Like, and I know all my subscribers are going to go crazy. And I'm like, what? You, you only drive manuals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. Sometimes you got to switch it up. And for all you guys that love the Tacoma, uh, one way or another, I'll end up with another Tacoma on the channel, so don't trust. Right. Yeah, it's definitely rear wheel drive based on yeah. how it drives, so you can feel it. Yeah. Don't make a left up here, Kirsten. All right. Make a left here. All right, guys, so this is my conclusion just based on that, that little test run that I've uh, taken out here. This car is slept on significantly because I would say it's either almost as fast or as fast as my Camaro. And it's still, well, it's not the most space in the back seat, but you know, you see a little bit of space there, but it's enough, you know, it's enough to wear like, you can still have rear seat passengers, whereas in the Camaro you can't. And the only downside, like I think this car would be perfect if it came with a manual gearbox. Like if it had a manual gearbox, oh, C8. <laughs> yeah. Like if this came with the manual gearbox, it would be ideal. But I mean, I guess the good thing about it is I can let my wife drive it, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, alright guys, so we're just gonna go talk numbers and if the numbers work out then this will be the new channel car. So like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, so we just just uh took this G70 out and it is beautiful. Let me see, it definitely has like a nice look to it, but let me know what you think. Like is it worth trading in the Tacoma for it? Like it is fast, it feels almost as fast as the the Camaro, but it's an auto, that's the downside. Like, But it's very luxurious, it's beautiful, fast, and I think we could definitely like take it to the track and get in some good numbers, you know, racing and stuff like that. But you guys comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think we should do? Hey guys, so I decided to not get the Genesis G70 and instead to keep my Tacoma and here's one of the, the reasons why it's like when I'm in the Tacoma I feel like I don't know just feel like an air of indestructibility like it feels like you know you can deal with any type of issue or you know circumstance and the Tacoma will be able to handle it you just feel like you know it's tried and true you know it's super reliable you know that it won't let you down um, and you know i just feel like it would last a lot longer the resale value would be a lot better nothing to knock on the on the genesis the genesis just like there was little things that i didn't really like like i remember when i closed the door one time i, I closed it in and it bounced back it didn't close all the way and i was like okay that's odd like you know there's just little quirks and stuff that i feel like they haven't perfected yet that toyota has and then there's like way more backseat space here in the tacoma 
and then obviously we have the bed in the back i can do a lot more things you know it's just uh, it, it just fit me better at this point so yeah i'll be keeping the tacoma and there's a lot of like hot cars right now cars that i've been interested in and you know sadly sadly enough to say that they're not out in high volume so they're hard to get and then you know the the dealerships that do have them are marking them up so much that it's not even fun buying it so i'll do like a whole separate video on that and why that's happening so hope you guys enjoyed this episode that's it for this one race car friends out